onto YouTube instead. So um, on my screen it says failed to connect, but I'm hoping this is okay. <laughs> it's it all a bit unknown and new. So there we go. Okay, I can see. Hi, great. I can see somebody coming in from LA. Brilliant. Okay. And I can see Ellie. Fantastic. Okay. We are go, go, go. <laughs> Take two. Right. If this suddenly cuts out, I will just stop and join me over on. Um, thank you for mod moderating, Pablo. I know that you're one of the kind of founders, aren't you, of um, HAPS? So it's lovely to have you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get started. I'm here to do some crafting. It's good to see you on all these platforms, wherever you're coming in from. If you don't know me or my face, my name's Esther and this is Stampin' Star Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which means I get to use and craft and make with some amazing products that this company, Stampin' Up! provide and which can be bought through my online shop. So good morning and hello wherever you're coming in from. I'm going to turn around the camera. I'm going to get crafting in a minute. Just going to do a quick hello. So I've got people joining from Facebook as well as YouTube. This is the joy. I can multicast on this platform, which is great. So just a really quick hello to Ellie, Deborah, Claire, Joanna. Glad to see your calendar arrive, Joanna. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Wendy and Audrey and Darlene, Lindsay and Donnie and Mindy and Linda and Jamie and Monica and Sheila and Carol and Gail. Have I missed anybody? Hope not. Hi, Christine. Okay, let's get you to the end. That's a good one. Okay, let's just push up. Right, so I'm going to stamp across this whole lovely red sheet. I'm going to be using Forever Fern and Fielder Flowers, which um, they come, some of them come in red rubber like this, which is a bit like your traditional. And then you stick a sticky sticker on the bank back, which then applies it to the block. And look, I've already got ink on me. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I've got to appreciate your award. How cool is that? And then some of the stamps come as these see through ones here. Now, I do know that because people are chatting on different platforms, not everybody gets to see all the messages unless you're on the HAPS platform. Well, hello, Jamie. What a lovely surprise. So, if I'm saying hello to people, you're like, well, I can't see their comments. It's because they are on a different platform. So, just bear with us as we go through this red card this is for chinese new year so why chinese new year my mum is malay malay chinese and my dad is english and i like to have that bit of culture still left in me and i like to give um ang pao red packets to my children with money on in for chinese new year so i'm going to stamp over this i'm hoping to cut it and turn it into a really simple um two envelopes great to have you joining and lovely to see new people and old faces so i'm going to get started I'm hoping to use also this gold gilding flakes, which gets very messy, which is why I'm going to do it and save you the trouble. So I just want to have a little think about what I want to use the gilding flakes for. And I'm tempted maybe just to use them for a hint of stamping. I don't want to use it loads because they are only going to be envelopes that are going to get ripped open. So this stamp set here for Everfern, just going to go in and do a bit of coverage in what's called black memento ink, like a good old fashioned black ink pad. I've, <laughs> I've already got smudges on my paper. So very simply applying pressure to the um, back of the stamp, give it a chance to adhere so the ink goes on the paper. I'm going to do a very loose design across the page and this just builds up a pattern in this way. Cover up that smudge. Welcome. Now, I don't know how the monetizing bit works on here. It's all a bit new to me. So, um, yeah, I'm just winging it and working my way through, babies. You're loving it already. Shall I stop now? <laughs> okay, great. 
I'm just going to put some foam mats underneath for a better um, surface. It might just help stop my rice that's been clanging in a little bit like that. Okay. So the traditional red colour for Chinese New Year is to do with the Chinese believing it's a lucky colour. Not that I believe in luck, but it's just in keeping with the culture. So we're just going to simply repeat our pattern across the page. Mindy's connection is skipping. Can anybody else tell me if they are all right or if it is skipping for them? So the, the messages do um, kind of disappear on my screen, so I can't keep up with all the messages all of the time. The sound issue only lasts a few seconds. Oh, great sound issues as well. <laughs> So, I mean, if this isn't going to work, I'm not going to keep doing it. But if it does work, then it'll be nice to know if it does. Look, I've stumped in the wrong direction, but it doesn't matter. So it looks like what I'm seeing on screen is a bit diff Is I'm a bit behind. If I'm buffering, sometimes it could be to do with the quality setting on YouTube. Um, it might possibly be my Wi-Fi, but that should be OK because it's quite full at the moment. So. It's good on haps, good. Okay, can you just let me know how it's coming in on the other devices? Because the great thing about haps is the multicasting, the fact that I can do YouTube and Facebook at the same time, which would be great if I can keep doing this. So it will save having to spread out myself on different um, platforms. So thank you if this is your first time watching and you've never seen this before. Um, you've got to kind of stick with me to get to the end of the process to find out how this is going to come out. But the great thing about stamping is you can do it whatever colour you like, whatever colour ink and whatever colour paper. But I like the idea of this bamboo leaf to signify um, sort of chinesey style uh what was that a question about ruth ruth just came on to do a live as well youtube's working great yes the, particularly the japanese as well they're very good at their packaging and making things look really nice and neat So it sounds as if Ruth is coming on alive as well. It's okay, she can do whatever she likes. <laughs> okay, so we just laid down that lovely bamboo stamp. And now we want to put a bit of movement and a bit more texture in it. So we're going to add these blossom flowers. And these are from Field of Flowers. Hello, Indianapolis. Welcome to Linda. Just seeing if I'm catching up. You're on Facebook and it's all okay. Great. Good. So I'm just going to do a few fillers with this blossom. So I'm keeping it very simple. Remember, it's going to be turned into some envelopes. So there's no point in me going too fancy. Blossom might be a bit girly, but it's just to have a bit of. And I suppose blossom is a bit more Japanese than Chinese, but there we go. It's just a kind of, it's a fusion. It's an interpretation. <laughs> Hi, Janice. So Janice, I can see coming through on Facebook. And El, uh, on YouTube, brother. And Ellie is saying, this looks cool on Facebook. Oh, I can't keep up with you all. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to add a bit of dots going back to this stamp set, which is 
got some splattered in. Now you might think, why on earth is she adding dots? But if you haven't seen this process, dots just, I don't know, just add some movement, add a bit of texture to the work. And I'm not going to be too set as to where I'm putting this. It's quite fun just to use black ink on the card and just to get an idea of what one colour does on which with what black does on one colour, I should say. Um, Cause it, it kind of just gives you that really monochromatic look and it makes the stamps speak for themselves, I think. Right, now for the fun bit. I'm gonna bring out my embossing buddy. Oh, I've got low battery. I'm plugged in, but I've got low battery, so I'm not gonna see any comments. Somewhere I put my embossing buddy. There you are. Welcome, Glenna. Glenna is over on YouTube. Okay, so Embossing Buddy's got basically like a, I used to call it house dust just for a laugh. Some people call it fairy dust, uh, house dust, fairy dust, powder, crafting powder. And this just takes away any of those oily, staticky bits on your page. So I'm going to give it a good rub over, like so. And. Thank you, Elaine. Gong Yi Fat Choi. Ink, which is around the corner. Yeah. So this is a sticky clear ink. And then I could really do with a bigger piece. Let's see what's in my scrap drawer. Okay, got a bit of scrap paper, which looks a bit bigger. And then we're using, going back to the idea of the pom pom flowers, but I'm, I'm not going to use them this time because I'm going to cut this first. Change of mind. Sorry, I am going to cut this because there's no point covering it in gold because I'm actually going to fold it and cut it. So I will do the gold. But you're just going to have to wait. So I'm going to cut this in half, which is about 14.85 centimetres. This way. OK. And then I'm going to do some rough folding. So when I say rough folding, I mean rough folding. I'm not going to measure this. Now, for some people, that might really freak, freak you out. And I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, because these are just going to be very simple envelopes, I'm just going to fold it like so. I want that nice long shape. Now, something's gone wrong with my folding, so I'm going to I'm going to get my my trimmer out and just trim that down, and then just using this as a guide. Again, just doing another bit of rough folding. Oh, good. Ellie's not freaked out by my rough folding and not measuring at all. Helen, it's good to see you. I think I'm, I don't know if I caught you coming on, but nice to see you. Okay. So now I've got two Ang Pao like this. Look, not finished because we are going to add gold. But I am just going to trim them down so they are... Both the same on either side. And the trimmer, amazingly, look, will cut through all those layers. So that's quite thick card and it's cut, cutting through two layers there. I'm facing it down so it doesn't catch on anything. Donny says uh, YouTube is skipping a bit. Okay, so that's interesting. It looks like I might have some issues. You like my nail colour this week, girls. Thank you. This is an OPI colour, which my friend said, I'm not going to wear that. So she gave it to me. But yeah, I'd wear that. OK. So I know this is going to be the front. So I now know where I want to put my stamping. Jamie says, I can never, I never measure if I can get away with it. I know it's great, isn't it? I love a bit of no measuring. OK. 
So coming back to where we were, I'm just going to give this another rub over, just in case. And I'm going to start warming up my heat gun so it will get a bit noisy and it'll get even more noisy in a minute. So we need, for this particular one, we need this special powder called heat and stick powder. It might be to do with the connection. So you might want to hop over to Facebook <laughs> or to the Haps app. Very randomly, try not to be too precise. The cushion under this. That will do. And then because it's first in mark, I'm going to leave it for a minute. I'm going to tap it in the first mark each time. That's the ink that I'm using to make sure that it's nice and sticky. So Facebook seems fine. Good. So having a few troubles on YouTube by the sounds of it. Sorry about that, folks. So this heat and stick powder goes over the bit that I've just stamped. I'll give it a good old flick. That takes off any excess. I'm going to shake it onto this one. Oh, it sounds like there's troubles on YouTube. So you might want to hop out. It'll be interesting to see what the broadcast looks like afterwards. So if this is skipping on YouTube, it might mean that I do a different broadcast on YouTube and maybe use this for Facebook and Haps. Hi there, Drew. Good to have you on here. So you might want to turn your volume down a little bit because this noise gets a bit loud by the microphones. Thank you for my super clap award. So I'm going to heat up the powder and it turns that white powder clear but what it also does will make it sticky and I can see it's sticking to other parts of my looks like it's sticking to other parts of my page so hopefully those clear bits there you can see have turned sticky I'm just going to do this other one So for some people it's fine, it might be on their YouTube. So it's a big learning curve. This is my first, well, second broadcast, but first official broadcast. Sorry, knocked my on here. So you can't hear the gun at all. Well, that's very odd. I don't know if I need the dragonflies. I might put a couple in. So I'm gonna very carefully open this box because mm -hmm. this girls and boys is the gold gilding flakes no <laughs> she says i'm gonna grab what's in the box they're very very fine and it's like basically like gold leaf i'm gonna open my pot of um my pot of gold basically look and it's like very ever so fine foil gold and this will stick to the places where we put that heat and stick powder where we did stamped the flowers so it's easier to use big pieces and to lay them down where you've stamped rather than trying to use the tiny pieces so you could put a big watch on or oh, just don't breathe over it I'm trying to find any more places that i might have there we go. I'm just using my finger initially to rub it on. I'm just going to carefully tap this off. Got to have a bit of gold if we're doing Chinese New Year things. Okay. And then in order to get a better image, I'm going to bring in my sponge. Oh, night, Kay. And give this a rub just clean up those stamped areas 
and it just helps to define where we did that stamping. Okay, look at that shimmer and shine. A deeper box would be better, says Vicky. Now she says. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me make don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh dear, don't make me laugh. Oh, I could do. Oh no, I was gonna say I could do one in flowers, one in dragonflies. A little bit late for that one. Okay, let's try this one. So once again, just grabbing our. This can't, This works fine as long as I don't breathe on it. <laughs> or laugh. So don't make me laugh. Okay. So this still stays sticky for quite some time, which is jolly useful because if you're called away for, say, for an emergency, but you wouldn't probably come back to it that quickly um, for a loo break or because the doorbell rings, you can come back and look, it's still sticky. You just want to press that paper on top of that foil. It's very, this is fun, a lot of fun. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm missing comments. I will try and go back and have a look afterwards, or just like I said, put something in capital letters so I can see you. Rubbing it with my sponge, you can use a brush. Somebody's used the blending brushes before. I just find a sponge or a, um, like a, what you call it? A thicker um, paintbrush would work just as well. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Now, I was thinking about putting some dragonfly, but I think we'll put the gold away for now. You put the whole project in a deep box. Yeah. To know, I like the control over having it still in my tub, I guess. Now, I'm trying to go back to scroll back to comments and I can't on my big screen. If you want to do a money envelope with dragonflies, you can send it to me, says Ellie. Oh, it reminds me of a kimono design. Cool. Right, I definitely can't scroll back on my other screen, so that's okay. I just have to leave that. So where's these dragonflies? Let's, I think because these are for my boys, they're not really going to pay loads of attention. Let's face it. So hi there, Janice. Well, we will get some dragonflies in here. So that bit's going to tuck under there. This is going to be the front. So we'll just cut, put a couple. Does, does dragonfly symbolise anything? Is it prosperity? Something? Gilding flakes of a life of their own, they go everywhere, yeah. Don't we know it? Oh, your boy isn't impressed by your crafty boxes. Well, it's just an opportunity for me to craft and make them something. So then the trouble is Chinese New Year is close to um, Valentine's Day as well. So is the is money the traditional gift for New Year? For people that aren't married, so for children and those that aren't married get a get an ang pal. Good. So some of you are having issues on YouTube, some of you aren't, so that's interesting. So we will carry on regardless. The show must go on. Now, just to make this look even pretty, <laughs> my mum's come on. Hello. <laughs> and she's watching on Facebook. And um, she said I should have done an ox this year. You know why? Last year I actually attempted to do a. Um, oh, I think my I think my iPad is shutting down now because it's on four but four percent battery. Um, last year I actually did or tried to design a punch art fox a fox not not a fox at all a rat. Somebody in my downline said it looked like a gerbil thanks for that amory <laughs> oh dear there we go anyway right 
At least this year I remembered what it's called. I remember that it's called Ang, Ang Pao. I wonder whether, to, oh, let's do the top corners. See if we'll go through a double layer. Yes, that's nice. So I'm just so this punch here has got three different settings. You can round off your corners. You can make something into a tag. Or you've got this fancy, um, fancy frilly corner. Just trying to. There we go. Okay, so I think I need to find a little way of maybe sealing these and put in there and put their names on it as well. So I'm going to use this is Stampin' Seal Plus, which is actually quite strong tape running glue. I'm just going to run it down the edge of my envelope. Just going to seal over the ends now. Oh, I just thought the other thing you can do with the um, gold gilding flakes is to actually use the tape runner with it. So what I could do, I'll show you, is welcome Los Angeles. Thank you, Mark. Um, so what am I going to do? Let's run the tape runner as smoothly as I can. Um, near the edge, Esther stops talking and starts talking a bit slower to concentrate. So I've got all that tape runner all at the edge. You can see that if I move that in the light, and then you can scoop up some of my gold leaf and look, it can stick to it, or you can grab out some more. What's going in the envelopes will be money. This is um, my take on the Chinese New Year money packets, money envelopes. So it's tradition in Chinese New Year to give um, these red packets or red envelopes to children and anybody that's not married for Chinese New Year. So that gold leafing, look, is lovely because it's got all these layers in the leafing you get a lovely textured effect so that will also got any adhesive so i've done a youtube on this to show you that the flakes can stick to lots of things so we have double-sided tape we've got um, a foam dimensionals and glue dots and even on glue and this is a bit of stamping so anything that's an adhesive it will stick to and that just gives a nice little edge to that packet. Ellie's itching for a, a money envelope. Can anyone tell? <laughs> uh, right, let's run tape run that across this one. Hello, Yasin, welcome. So welcome if you're joining me on HAPS. Um I need to break the seal on my gilding plate. Have you not used it yet, Deborah? You just got to break them out and then you won't stop using it. You've got to be in the mood for a little bit of mess, I must admit. But it's great fun. So once again, I'm sorry if I'm missing comments. They do tend to fly by. <laughs> Ellie said, you picked up on my hint then. Okay. And rub these off. So even if they get torn open and used, that is the point, you know. But it's just nice to know that I've made it myself. <laughs> Delinda says, Aren't you just a clever sticky gold flake teacher? <laughs> Stop making me laugh or else the gold flakes will go everywhere. I know you want to see that happen, but um, I need to save some. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, Linda's made it back from her work walk, rather. You've misplaced your gold gilding flakes, says Janice. Uh-oh, Janice. 
does that mean that like there's somewhere in your house where there's going to be like gold gilding flakes everywhere oh no I could put chocolate money in. That's what we used to do when I went to the nursery. Put chocolate money in it. So anyone got any bright ideas about how to seal my envelopes? So I could just seal it with a, oh, maybe a bit of ribbon would be nice. So I need to put some money in first. It won't be a lot of money. <laughs> it might have to be a note because of the way the envelope is. But um, let's have a little think. I'm thinking, actually what I've done before is to put if I do like a circle because circles are supposed to be significant um, that's quite big hold the line please Paula hold the line I'm just trying to search oh. where is it it's gone walk about one inch right this isn't for sale from my shop but you can pick up one inch circle punches from places it should be a note says my mum <laughs> it should be it should be paper money apparently <laughs> okay okay um let's we won't do any more gilding for now um i'm gonna bring out the something else oh, i could use the Hold on, let me just, my brain is thinking. <sighs> yes, exactly. Actually, I didn't think about a dimensional, but I was thinking about a little circle flap. But yes, dimension will work even better. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, so... So the circle on the front is the same size as what's going to be cut out, so I know that this strip will work. Oh, the gold gilding flakes out of stock. Oh, Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. So um, with our punt paper punches like this, tend to turn them over so you can actually see where you're punching. So I know I can go right up to the edge of my paper. If it was this way, a bit like a hole punch, you can't see what you're doing. But if you turn it over like this, I'm going to pop out two circles. OK, and look, hardly any waste. And then. I'm going to, if you place it on there, you can untuck it and then tuck it back in again. But I like the idea of putting a dimensional, so that would help. I'm going to leave that like that. That could work. What I could do is put uh, dimensionals even. Now, I should have used a black dimensional to be in a bit more in keeping. So I'm going to put this halfway up, halfway down. Lovely, that works nicely. Okay, let's find them. These come in black as well for projects just like this, <laughs> where you might not want it to show. I've only got the small ones left, but they come in the small and the large just to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye if you happen to catch the white dimensional underneath which you can't actually see on the cool tuck flap thanks <laughs> yes i do feel like it might need something but let's just get this down back and then what I will do is just cut a couple of strips and this can have their names on it, which I can write on in a gold pen. Use my little trimmer. Just chop these down. So thank you so much for watching along and watching my red piece of card turn into something special. Namely, to Ang Pao. Oh. I didn't cut that through, I wasn't concentrating. That's more like it. Um, 
let's have to think about what we can do for um, somewhere I've got oh no I haven't got it oh well no okay let's stop there I can't I can't find what I'm looking for because I've learned it out <laughs> Um, I'm going to stick that on the front so their names can go on the front there. Or let's just have a little look. Yeah, I think I'll stick that on the front and have their names on the front. So very simple, really easy to do with red paper, black stamps. The connection issues are you, are your end, not Facebook or YouTube. Great. Uh, <laughs> there's not a lot I can do about that. We've just re recently changed our Wi-Fi and it should be fine now. <laughs> what I will do though, I'm going to turn the camera around to say hello and explain. Hello, this is the face behind. Don't use black. Why not? Is black bad luck? <laughs> Edge the black with gold flakes. Is there something wrong with black? You have to explain that to me. My mum's like, don't use black. Right. Um, so what I will do is go back and uh, red, black is bad luck. So I won't use that for the, the front. Maybe I'll just leave it plain and put some ribbon and I'll do a tag. I'll do that. See if I've got any. I've got some red and white ribbon. Got the teeniest, tiniest bit of look at that, that ribbon. I've got some retired ribbon. I wonder if I've got some. Oh, I've got some. Oh no, I can't use black. <laughs> I've got some white or some twine. Oh, now I think this is the last of my white. Leave it plain, she says. Okay. Well, I like the idea of maybe just sealing it with a with a ribbon like that. I like the I like the contrast with the black right white and red but it doesn't need sealing because it's sealed okay let's just <laughs> so what i'm going to do is just go back and check my broadcasts on youtube and facebook to see how this has come out um it might be to do with an evening issue sometimes i've had issues in the evening um with wi-fi so um but i'll go and check it out but hopefully it's come through clear yes to the ribbon okay no, no white, says Gunnar. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just going to leave the ribbon. <laughs> I keep having these messages coming through. Uh, I just use red everything. Okay, definitely no white or black. Okay, okay, no white or black. Okay, red everything. I only know a little bit about the culture, not everything. <laughs> so I'm, just, I'm learning. Is, is the black dot all right? Do I need to like put something on it? That's that's fine. Right. <laughs> Listen to my mum they're saying. How funny. Right. Lovely to have you join. I hope this is, hasn't been too painful for those of who the reception's been a bit glitchy. And I'm hoping that on replay, maybe it'll cut out the glitches. Who knows? This is very experimental. So I'm glad that you could join me. Gold ribbon. I don't know if I've got any. I've got a, the tiniest bit of gold ribbon. Let's have a look. Some Brits don't like red and white. Yes to gold ribbon. Right, I've got this much of gold ribbon. This might be the last thing I do before I go. Now that's not really going to be enough to do anything other than... A, I'll tell you what I could do is just do a little um like a little tag of ribbon underneath like that like a little i might do that okay <laughs> okay everybody i'm gonna sign off um thank you for joining me on facebook on youtube and on haps it's been fun thank you for your company and i'm sorry again if i've missed any comments um but hopefully i will be back you love the bunnies this is my my top i don't know quite whether it's easter or, or winter 
spring or winter because he's got rabbits but they're in like little winter jumpers so it's a bit of both <laughs> take care everybody lots of love nice to see you bye for now <laughs> thanks for your help <laughs> bye